Welcome to the Dental Implant Practices Podcast, where each episode will explore how to integrate dental implants into your practice and into bone with your host, Dr. Philip Gordon. Hey guys, thanks for being listening to the show. Go to dentalimplantpractices.com and find all of our resources. Also find us on Facebook, Dental Implant Practices page on Facebook. And go to iTunes and leave me a review on iTunes so we can help spread the message. Thanks. Welcome back to another episode of the Dental Implant Practices podcast. I'm your host, Philip Gordon. And today it's a huge honor for me to be interviewing Ted from Vatech America. Ted, thanks for being on the show here today. Oh, uh, thank you, Dr. Gordon. Thank you for having me. Now, I know um, you are a product manager for Vatech America, and you work out of the Fort Lee office in New Jersey. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. And, and as I understand, you had a uh, little disclaimer you wanted to add in here before we get started. Yeah, I just wanted to start off with a little disclaimer saying that what I'm about to say is really the personal views about Vatech America and the Vatech as a whole, and not necessarily um, representing the view of the company as a whole. Sure. And so don't don't hold his feet to the fire. These are just two guys talking so that the dentists uh, <laughs> in the field can uh, kind of get a better understanding of what Vatech's about. So that's that's the goal of the show. I see. Thank now, you. Um, so thank you for your time today. You are a product manager for Vatech America. Why don't you tell me uh, and my listeners, I just bought a Vatech machine, um, let's see here, right before the end of the year. And I have been very pleased with it. I, um, you know, I'm doing a lot of implants. I wanted another cone beam machine. I came across your company and I, I bought the, uh, I3D smart machine and I bought that through Benco and have been, um, you know, more than pleased with it, but I wanted to dive in and talk about, um, your machines, your company, uh, you know, what, what's going on with Vatech and, 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 and kind of go from there. So, why don't you tell me a little bit about Vatech America, if you can? Yeah, sure, Dr. Gordon. Um, actually, to be perfectly frank, there's still a lot of dentists out there who doesn't know anything about Vatech or who Vatech is. As a matter of fact, to this day, I still get questions from dentists saying, Vatech, what is that? Is it Virginia Tech? So when I get questions like that, I feel the urge to explain to the dentist and let the audiences know who Vatech is and what we stand for? Yeah, I think a lot. I think a lot of people, you know, maybe have heard of uh, ICAT and maybe and maybe um, you know Plan Mecca, but 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 maybe that's it. I I don't know if they've heard a lot of others. Yeah, yeah, that, absolutely, Dr. Gordon, you're right. Um, so that being the case, what Vatech stands for is, I mean, we're not we're not clinicians, so we're not going to tell you how our devices should be used clinically. But what we pride ourselves in is that we're a bunch of engineers, we're a bunch of people who's creating this innovative devices, and we believe in creating the best tools of the trade for the dentist. And as part of that process, what we do is um, we work tirelessly, you know, to to provide the best product. And not only that, we provide the service after the product has been sold and also the education along with it. Um, basically, that's what Vatech stands for. Yeah. You know, I know um, when I was looking at companies, you know, to buy my next uh, comb beam, I, I have a, a iCat in one office and I wanted to buy another machine for the other office. You know, obviously two things I wanted to look at was, um, well, maybe three things, obviously price, um, I want to look at who's who's um, who's got a quality product, and then who who backs it up with um, training and support. And um, you know, I, I found that Vatech was really ahead of the curve on all three of those. So um, your company is you have uh, Vatech, the parent company. Then you have Vatech America. Vatech America has uh, has three locations in the U.S. You said you've got a you've got a headquarters and a warehouse and and a and a tech support. Why don't you tell us where those are at and kind of what goes on at each place? Oh, yeah, um, absolutely. Um, most of the day-to-day -day admin and um, management goes on at our headquarters, which is based out of Fort Lee, New Jersey. And then most of our devices ship out of the warehouse, um, out of a warehouse located in Cerritos, California. And then we also have a tech support office located in Texas. I believe it's um, somewhere around northern Texas region. Okay. And um, 
So the machines for the dental units themselves are actually built in South Korea. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Um, South Korea is actually kind of a uh, is a hot haven for dental implant manufacturing. I, I know there's a lot of dental implants made in South Korea too. Mm-hmm. So that's correct. Not surprising that some of the dental imaging is coming out of South Korea too. They seem to be a very innovative country, and um, you know, so that just that kind of makes sense that some of the new technology is coming out of there. Yeah, absolutely. I agree, Dr. Gordon. And um, if I may uh, use the statistics, I believe Bloomberg Innovative Index listed South Korea as the most innovative country for the past three years in a row, actually. They're kind of giving Japan a run for their money, I think, as far as uh, qual- oh, yeah. <laughs> quality and uh, innovative um, products. And, um, you know, they got the Hyundai coming out of there. I know they're, that car is making huge tailwind in this uh in this economy. So, yeah, I believe so as well. Yeah. So, um, what type of products does Vatec America offer? So, you know, if you say maybe a lot of people don't know about it. Okay. They make a comb beam, you know, you know, what does that mean? Obviously, you know, if, if someone goes to your website, vatecamerica.com and you go to products, you know, there's, there's two tabs, there's imaging systems and there's dental equipment. So it looks like you've got a x-ray, uh, sensor, you've got an x-ray, you've got a wall mounted x-ray machine and then you've got imaging systems and you've got you've got five imaging systems on the market right now is that correct um just f- five or six five um or six. just about yeah so yeah what what's the difference in the imaging systems because i i bought one that was very specific for my needs uh the i3d smart and i and i've been very happy with that but kind of walk through someone to say um you know, doesn't know much about comb beam or 3D, you know, what, why is there more than one machine, I guess? Yeah, um, I guess it's all about giving customers options. They're free to choose depending on their clinical need and the size of the practice and all the other uh, factors involved. They can make their choices based on their current situation. And um, that being the case, um, it kind of ties in with uh, how our company is structured. We're so We are what we call uh, what we are so-called a vertically integrated company. What it means is that we do everything from R and D to manufacturing, manufacturing those tiny little uh, pieces to every single pieces that go into the machine. Every one of those um, things are done in house. So what that allows us to do is that it allows us to create innovative products. It allows us to create different products. It allows us to create different products that fits the need of the customers. So that's why you see so many different products, product lines uh, in our offering. So if I may explain what those products are, um, so basically it's segmented into three categories. So uh, what we do is we got, as you know, you got a, a PacSight 3D Smart, um, and that's so-called an entry-level CT, and then we got Paxi 3D, which is the regular sort of a midline, mid-range of the products. And the key difference between Paxi 3D Smart and the regular Paxi 3D is aside from the price and Paxi 3D being a mid-range product, um, what it does is that it has the ability to collimate down from a 12 by 9 FOB down to 8 by 8, 8 by 5, and 5 by 5 for different clinical needs. 5 by 5, for example, is a higher resolution. If you're into antidontic purposes, that's what you, you would use it for. And one above that, we have a premium line called a Paxi 3D Green. So if you can think of um, the cone beams as cars, Paxi 3D Green is like our Lexus branding. We got a Lexus, then Paxi 3D, um, you can consider that as our Toyota branding. So that's, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to create a premium, mid-range, entry-level products that fits the different needs um, and the different situations of our doctors at hand. Yeah, and so, so some of the differences might be the functionality. You get different sizes and collimations, and some of correct, them also correct. allow for um, maybe some different ortho, uh, some ortho needs, you know, CEPHs and uh, TMJ. Um, so, there's, so there's Absolutely. different different add-ons and different levels. Um, to kind of meet, you know, you just don't make one machine because different people are using them for different purposes. And so, um, that's, that's, that's great that you offer a variety for, you know, different, different practices. Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, that's one of our tenants as well. We try to provide options for our customers. So they're free to choose. Now, um, let me go back to you a little bit more here, Ted, you, um, 
you said you are a, a product manager and you've been working with um, Vodtech America for five years now. Wh what did you come in at, at the company as and, and how did your uh, position evolve over that time? Yeah, um, actually, maybe I should touch on my experience before pre sure. Vodtech, actually. Yeah, yeah, go, go ahead and tell a little bit more, about yourself. Yeah, that makes for a much more interesting conversation. Actually, I was a research scientist. Um, I, my background is in biology. I worked in laboratories for a few years before I came out to Vodtech. Um, I mean, I just got married around the time that I joined Vodtech and I had to make a reasonable living. So I have to find a job at the time. But aside from finding a job um, at a company, premier company like Vodtech, the other reason that I joined Vatech was um, actually it's pretty interesting because um, I took on Vatech as a summer job at the time. And the reason that I took a summer job and, and I wasn't interested in joining Vatech full time. And I was planning on going back to my laboratory after that, the, the summer stint. And what happened was in that two short summer months, I was paired up with an engineer who was sent directly from the headquarters. And I was making rounding services down south, fixing Vatic devices uh, that had to be recalled because of the devices and the parts that had to be um, kept up to date. So you would imagine if you're going to those places, it's a device that's either failing or is running to some sort of an issues. So you would expect those customers to be really angry at you and customers to be really um, disheartened that their device is running to some issue. But to the contrary, what really surprised me at the time is that every single one of those customers told me directly that I love the image that comes out of this device. The image quality is ex exceptional. Can't you get it running as soon as possible? That was the answer that I got time after time. So after that encounter, um, interestingly enough, uh, the funny enough, I was re I really got interested in the company Vatech as a company, and for fortuitously, fortunately for me, after that summer stint, the executives actually um, met with me after that summer stint and offered me a job, and that's how I came on board as a the marketing. At the time, I was a marketing coordinator. Then I became a product manager after the second year. Excellent. So you uh, kind of got to see a little bit of it in the field. You, you've had some biological background, and now you get to kind of manage the implementation and um, development and, and launch of uh, new products. Is that right? Yeah, correct. Um, although it wouldn't be fair if I say I'm the only one who's coordinating or doing all of that because it's oh, a collaborative sure. effort, you see. So sure. we got another product manager who's working in the team and there's a product manager, associate product manager. We work as a team with the engineers and R&D to, you know, make it a reality. Sure. Yeah, no, I know it's a, it's a team event and, and, I, and I know you're not the only one there plugging away, but it's, uh, you've got your claws in on some of that, I'm sure. So now, <clears throat> uh, so, you know, I'm, I'm asking some of these questions just because I know about Vodtech and I've got a machine. I, I bought, I think the, so the i3D Smart, I think that's the, is that the latest machine that launched? Is, is that the newest machine on the market? Hardware-wise, yes, it is. Hardware-wise, right? Correct. Okay, but not software, is that right? Yes, that's correct. So then you look at, you look at a couple different things. So, so the scanning on, on my machine is, is amazing. I, I love the scans that I get. They're, 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 the field of view is fantastic. I didn't feel a need to collimate um, because I found that, you know, I'm taking my scans on my patients and I'm seeing um, pathology and lesions all over the mouth. So I, I place a lot of implants, but I also do a lot of root canals and I, I treat the whole patient. So when I take one scan with my i3D Smart, it takes a, a 3D rendering uh, comb beam image and also takes a, uh, on, on the backspin, it takes a, a true pano. So I also get not a, not a reconfigured, but also a 2D pano in that. So I get uh, the full picture. And uh, then I can diagnose the whole mouth, the whole jaw, make um, scan guides and, and diagnose implants. So I, I didn't feel a need to collimate necessarily. So that's what led me to that machine. Uh, and, and it is economically uh, priced. But even within your machines, you've got different softwares available. Is that right? Can you, can you talk about the softwares? I mean, what, what's the difference in some of those softwares? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, in terms of the software... Um, we have to touch on where we came from, Vatech as a whole. Vatech is a, 
very, well, it used to be a very hardware centric company. So software wise, we're, we're very lacking. So what our executives and our R&D did past couple of years is that we just totally redid our image, image management software. We call that Easy Than I, which was launched um, summer of 2015. And then summer of last year, we launched a brand new 3D software called Easy 3D I. So those are the softwares. And the thing about those two softwares is that we approach those development with the mindset to create something that's really simple and easy to use and intuitive for the users. So case in point, I mean, Dr. Gordon, if you're using Easy 3D I right now, how do you find the software, especially the, the 3D panoramic function within the software? Well, I think it's fantastic. You know, like I said, I've got a um, an iCat and that uses an Atomage, and I thought that was um, the best software out there. And then I switched over to my other office using this Vautech, and I, I actually prefer the software um, on the Vautech over, over the Anatomage software. And I think that's a huge compliment. Thank you. Thank you so much for that. I mean, I'm pretty sure our R&D and the software developers will be happy to hear that. Yeah. I actually, it's, it's the image quality, in my opinion, is better. And uh, the software is so easy and intuitive to use. Um, I, I, I enjoy the machine and, and I, I think it's, it's fantastic. And, and then n- not only is, is the reading and the nerve tracing and the implant integration, all that there, um, you know, one of the things that I really like, and you can touch on this more, there's, there's more tools, you know, other than the diagnostic tools, um, there's the, there's these consultation modes and the ability to do screenshots and send, um, to my referrals or insurance companies. So my, my staff can use. Um, you know, the video consultations or, or create these screenshots for, um, you know, billing and um, referral purposes. So it's, it, it's got lots of functionality, in my opinion. Yeah, I can touch on that quickly, if you don't mind. Sure. Um, in terms of those, um, the treatment consultation videos, we call it, and those um, make, getting a screen capture of the, the treatment plan you've done on the uh, software itself, those are all built in within the software, and it comes um, with the software as a default default features. So when a when a customer gets our devices, they're getting those features built in with the software itself. Uh, consultation videos, for example, it's um, about I believe by last count there's about 280 um, consultation videos, and what those are is that it's a silent animated video of a treatments clinical treatments that you can show the uh, customers as part of your consultation regimen. And the way that our software is built is that you can show those consultation animations to explain about these procedures that you're going to be um, proposing to the cost- uh, patients and then show the x-rays on the left-hand side or right-hand side in conjunction with that video running, running on the side. So it increases um, the understanding of their patients and increases um, patient acceptance of those treatments. Yeah, I've, I've found that those are, are really awesome. And uh, yeah, I mean, I was actually in the market to buy some software uh, to show patients. And then I got this machine and it had it with it. So I thought, well, this is fantastic. And it was one less thing I had to go buy and manage. And these videos are, you know, in my opinion, better than some of the ones on the market that are just selling those uh, as is. So I, that was, that was an, that was an extra bonus for me. And then also the, uh, the 3D panoramic navigation is, is is a fantastic tool that I don't think anyone else has on the market. Um, actually, I mean, uh, to be fair, I believe there are other softwares out there. Sure. Um, Nautomods, namely, that has the 3D pan navigation function built in within their software. So this is not a, something that's totally brand new in the marketplace. But I do agree, Dr. Gordon, that 3D panoramic feature if you're a dentist who's coming into the 3D cone beams for the first time, it's so much easier and intuitive for you to understand because instead of trying to get a bearing on a, on a 3D um, X-ray images, you're looking at it in a panoramic form. That's something that you're more used to. Yeah, I, I, I love the 3D pan navigation. That's, I mean, I do some quick scans and then that's, that's kind of my go-to um, area as far as diagnosing and uh, treatment planning and, and those things because it's, it takes what I know and, and integrates the new 3D in a way that um, is so easy to read and see and use. It just, you know, it just really flows smoothly. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it is that's what I've been hearing from most of our, our other customers as well. And uh, in terms of the software, there's something that I have to add on. Um, within our software, you have the ability to export out STL files from um, a store model, for example, that you scan within our 3D units. And it is built in within our software as well, as opposed to other manufacturers who might be charging for that feature. We do not charge for those features. So you can scan store models within our 3D units and then export that out as an, out as an STL if you're interested in doing uh, maybe designing and creating surgical guides or printing them in-house, for example. Oh, that's great. You know, I, ha- I don't actually do that um, yet with my machine. I, I, I take the DICOM and send the DICOM over to my lab and send my stone model to my lab and have them make the surgical guide. But I, I know a lot of people are, are scanning models um, and, and or making guides in-house. So it, it's, it's good that those STLs uh, can come free and, and come out um, in, in a form. Because I know if you're, if you're not coming out with STL and DICOM, you know, you're going to have a problem with the crossover compatibility. So, um, yeah, I... The, the, I, I make a uh, implant guide for every case I do, and, and my lab, you know, my, my communication, my lab, they, they say this image is just awesome, and they, they love making, um, you know, the, uh, the surgical guides for me off these, and so that's, there's been no problem on the user end for that, too, so. I see. But I, I, I have not used the STL file capability yet, I must say. I see. So now you know. So if, for the future reference, if you're interested in printing those guides in-house, uh, as a same day surgical guide creation, then you definitely have that option at hand. Oh, good. Well, see, there's, there's, there's more layers to this thing yet. I, I knew there'd be something we could learn. Yeah, it's like peeling onions. That's exactly right. There's more information. The more, the more you learn, the more you see in there. So, well, um, now you guys have partnered up with a lot of companies. I know you can, um, you can buy one of these machines. I mean, I said I bought mine through Benco, but you, you guys sell these through a lot of places, right? I mean, it's not just Benco. It's there, There's other uh, supply chains to buy these through. How, how would somebody get a hold of one of these? Oh, yeah, definitely. We don't just work with Benco. Benco um, holds a portion of our sales. And um, we try to partner with those distributors who actually shares our vision, which is provide good customer service. And... Uh, um, good service after the purchase. So that being the case, the dealers, for example, that we partner up with our um, 30 plus dealers, it, that covers uh, the United States, uh, namely Banco is one, Burkhardt, uh, Midwest Dental, Nashville, um, Greenway, Get, maybe Getsy, Atlanta. Uh, yeah, Getsy is okay. part of it as well. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so you've got, um, okay, yeah, I, I see the partners page on your website. Yeah, you've got, You've got a big list of partners there, so yeah, that's that's great. That um, so if, if anybody's got relationships with there, they can uh, they can prov- you know get one of these machines through there, or, or they can reach out to one of their reps and uh, and and find a way to get a hold of that. Yeah, definitely, absolutely. And uh, like, like I said before, we don't just pick these dealers out at random. We make sure they meet the qualifications, and we have those dealers and the dealer technicians go through our certification process. So only those carefully screened dealers are selected as our partners. So you can be rest assured that those guys will take care of you. Yeah, that's good. You know, when I bought my machine, um, it came with, I think, three training sessions. Can, can you talk about the training? I, I know a lot of people, when they buy a 3D comb beam machine, it's, you know, there's two things that scare them. One, it's the price, and two, it's not knowing how to use it. So um, I got great financing through uh, Benco and Clarion Financing. Now, the other thing, you know, I had some experience in my team. My team didn't have any, any training down here. So um, can you talk about the training? You know, I got, I got three training sessions. Is that, is that come with every machine? And, and um, kind of talk about the training that comes with it. And the, um, because I think that's a big deal when people are looking to get into 3D is they need to know how to, how to maximize their machine. Yeah, definitely. I mean, Dr. Gordon, I agree. When you bought a device, that's as expensive as a Mercedes G-Class or a Ferrari, for example, um, you want to be able to use it properly. And you want to make sure that your team knows how to use it properly. So that being the case, we offer three-tier, three-level training uh, that comes bundled in with your purchase. Um, At the first day of the installation, um, our guys will go out there, train you and the staff on how to position and take good images from our devices. 
and there's a whole day deal. And after that, um, we call this level two, which is where we send out our education managers out on site and they will spend the entire day with you and your staff, again, going over how to take proper x-rays. And then they will, at that point, go over the 3D software with you as well. And then the third level training is a remote training session, which basically tackles the 3D software um, um, in a more detailed, in-depth fashion. The reason they do that is because they want you to kind of acclimate yourself to the device first and try to digest the things you've learned at the level two training session and then give it a, a few weeks to a month or so. And then when you uh, sign up for a level three training, you will ask them those finer details about the software as you are using the software that you found. Yeah, and, and I think that that process has worked well because I've done other training in the past where they try to take you from A to Z all in one day, and I think that's just that just doesn't happen. I mean, you've got to get in and learn maybe the, the top level and use that for a while and then dig in a little more and learn the second depths and then dig in a little more and then really understand the full functionality of it. So I think mine were you know, 30 or 45 days in between. And I think that gives the staff time to take a bunch of images, figure out what they're doing right, but more importantly, figure out what they're doing wrong. And then, you know, train the doctor how to how to read even deeper and do even better. And then, you know, then teach them to become a, a master at it. Because if, if it's all in one day, it's, you know, most of it's going over the person's head. Yeah. I mean, one day training is pretty much de facto industry standard because they know the the human capital and the, the resource investment that has to go into it. Sure. And we, believe me, we were like that back in the day as well. But we've changed course because over time we listen to our customers and the customer needs are that they know how important the education is. And our, our philosophy is that we're not trying to develop this relationship with the customers on a transactional basis. We're not going to just sell it and forget about it. What we're trying to do is we're trying to develop lasting relationships with you and your team to practice. So that being the case, we try to continue on and train you and, and the staff so they can get the most out of our products. Yeah, I mean, especially, like you said, if I could be driving a Ferrari or, or taking scans, I mean, uh, you didn't tell me I could have a Ferrari for this price. <laughs> <laughs> I, I maybe have to start rethinking my decisions here because hot dog, I'd, I'd just like to get behind the wheels of one of those. So, um, no, I'm actually, I'm actually very glad about the machine. It's been it's been a real practice booster for me. I mean, you know, we do so much with it that uh, I can't imagine practicing without a 3D machine anymore. And and now that I've got the Vautech, you know, it it won't be my last Vautech machine that I buy. I can tell you that. Yeah, we're glad to hear that, Dr. Gordon. Yeah. You know, when, when I logged on to your website today, I, I, I also noticed you've got a 3D uh, user meeting coming up. Can, can you talk about that? Because I don't know of a lot of places where you can get extra training for for 3D. I, I'm, I'm not sure how many people are are uh, teaching docs how to read 3D because it is different than than just reading a pano. Yeah, absolutely. We do have these 3D um, readings, um, read meetings and the symposiums scheduled maybe semi-annually, so twice a year. What we try to do is we set up these events um, and then we bring in big guns basically for these events. We bring in our the education team managers and the specialists um, and the well-known radiologists and have them teach on how to read um, the clinical findings within the DICOM. Because as you all know, it's incident, the, the worries about the incidental findings and not knowing how to read or clinically, clinically decipher the information that's contained within the DICOM is an issue. So that's what we're trying to kind of fill that gap in knowledge. Yeah, that's good. I mean, I think as, as these things come more mainstream, I think more people you know, need to get more competent with their evaluations and, and screenings of these. Yeah, I mean, mind you, Dr. Gordon, you, the dentists who are purchasing comb beams always has an option to refer out their DICOM readings to a radiologist or a maxillofacial radiologist. But we do believe in being um, educated and educating our customers as well. So we try to provide this user sessions and the symposium so they can learn more about the you know, the clinical reading side of the, the you know, the diagnostic reading of the cone beams. Yeah, I, th I think that's great because e even if you are still sending all those out, I, th I think it's good to know what you're seeing and, and know when to refer and know what to diagnose. 
Yeah, definitely. So, you know, along with some of those bigger machines you have, you also have uh, options on there for airway and T and J and, and um, some ortho treatments. So, you know, you know, I bought my machine for implants, but it's not like just an implantologist could be looking at your, at your machines. I mean, you, you've got maybe orthodontists buying yours or, or general dentists that do a lot of ortho. You know, I know airway is a big thing now. And so you guys have specific software that talks about that. So I'm not sure if you guys ever partner up for any of these other things, you know, with uh, airway or implant courses, but um, those seems like th those are things that could be on the horizon at some point. Oh yeah, absolutely. Airway is something that's just taken off um, right now. So we actually took a step further and started partnering up with airway um, educations and uh, the lecturers. Um, Angle Institute, for example, is specializes in the implant dentistry. OSA, OSA, they specialize in airway, obstructive um, airway studies. We partnered, we partnered up with them. Um, we also work with other specialists who's been working with airway and the obstructive um, sleep apnea for 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 a number of years. And uh, people like Dr. Michael Gelv is one who we've been working with. And and the airway feature that you've been talking about is something that's pre-built in within our software as well. Yeah, that's good. So if you get the machine that covers that field of view, then then you get all that software that, that can help diagnose and, and read those things. So it's not like those are extra purchases. Correct, definitely. And in terms of ortho, um, I have to clarify, so far we've not developed a software that specializes in ortho as of yet. Oh, sure. But it is something that we're working on. I just meant you've got a you've got machines that can capture CEPHs and um, so that orthodontists yeah. could, could could use those for their for their imaging. Definitely. Definitely. Because I know I'm speaking here maybe for a general dentist or an or an implantologist side, but there's you know, there there's there's all kinds of functional uses for this. I think even if you know, I tell people, even if you're not placing implants, I, I find so many um, diagnosed, um, infected, abscessed teeth on this thing that it could keep myself and my endodontist busy almost almost around the clock. And I think, you know, there's when when you go from 2D to 3D, this whole phantom mystery pain thing, does, it, it, it goes away. There's no such thing as mystery pain or phantom pain. There's there's actually just there's actually just things that you can't see unless you have a three dimensional image. So it. Um, yeah, it just, you know, it takes all the mystery and guesswork out of, uh, you know, my clinical dentistry and has really opened my eyes to what, what the real true anatomy um, and pathology of, of the dental, uh, of the dentition is because I see things now that I would have never imagined before um, I entered the 3D world. So, yeah, it's quite, it's quite a game changer is, is what I mean with that. Now, uh, as far as the company goes, I'm not sure how much you know about this or not. I, I know there's some upgrades or some buyback programs. Do, do you know much about those? Um, I'm not in the sales side of it, so I don't know the, the details that goes into it. But um, I know the principle of the buyback program, for example. I believe if you buy our 2D unit, like a dedicated panel or a panel Ceph unit, for example, and if you decide to purchase a 3D unit in the future, um, the purchasing price of that 2D unit can be reinvested towards the 3D unit that you that you buy from us. So that's the idea of the buyback program. Oh, great! So at least you're giving people an option and say, look, we'll we'll at least get you in with something. And then uh, if at some point that changes, then uh, we can we can upgrade you there, and you're not you're not out of total loss, huh? Yeah, definitely. Great. We, we believe in giving customers options. And th and that's what people want is, you know, I think just options and. You know, some yeah, cho definitely. choices. Everybody likes choices, right? Makes us feel like we're mm -hmm. makes us feel like we're in charge. <laughs> um, what else do people need to know about you know Vatech or uh, or or what's what's kind of coming up in in the future for Vatech America or um, you know what what are some things that you think maybe we haven't touched on that that you think would be good to cover? Uh, this is something that came up in a conversation with my execs uh, several days ago, and I thought it's going to summarize what Vatech is pretty well, so I'm going to bring it up here. And it's going to cover all the innovative products that's going to come down the horizon as well. So the Vatech, the founder of Vatech, believe it or not, um, his background is not an engineer, actually. It's, it's a guy who started this company, and his background is Asian literature, of all things, right? So 
what does Asian lit major know anything about a dental or medical x-ray imaging equipment? Yeah. So what he did was he bought a, a dying company that was making um, materials diagnost- uh, examining x-ray machines, like sort of those x-ray machines you see at uh, airports. But it, it was a dying breed. So the company was dying. Maybe they had, a, had about a dozen engineers left over in the company and it was working out of a warehouse. So the founder of the company bought that company. And then he thought only way that he can turn this company around is develop something brand new. So he decided that creating a dental digital x-ray is the key. But at the time, no one in the, no one in the company or in the entire South Korea, the country as a South Korea as a whole, knew how to design or create dental digital x-rays. Huh, okay. So, but yeah, so amazing, incredible thing is, this guy traveled all the way to Finland. He scouted um, a professor in Finland who specialized in those digital x-rays. He brought him over to South Korea, worked with that guy for about three months. And this professor just dropped the ball and said one day, you know what? This can't be done. You guys cannot make this. And then founder, I don't know what he did, convinced the professor and they worked day and night. And within a year, they, lo and behold, they completed a digital dental x-ray. That's how the company began. Fascinating. Yeah. So, I mean, that being the case, anything that comes down the horizon, I can tell you, we've been told so many times by so many different people, competitors and professionals, uh, experts, telling us that it cannot be done. You guys cannot do it, but we're pulling it off. So whatever that's coming down the pipe a year from now, two years from now, two years from now, I can guarantee you something that you have not seen before that is going to make a difference in the industry. Yeah, you know, and I, I think the, you know, some of the take home is that is um, perseverance and uh, innovation. You know, you, it, it sounds like, you know, your company was founded on being very innovative and uh, dedicated to quality and, and, and getting things done that, that makes sense because, um, you know, I, I looked into Vatech about four or five years ago. And um, a- at the time, uh, I didn't end up getting a machine then, but I looked at them last year again, and I, I, I can't believe the, uh, I couldn't believe the progress. To just, I felt like the company had made in that time. So I, I, I definitely um, know that big things are on the horizon. I, I wish they could get into the, um, and this is just a side note, I wish Vatech would get into the scanning business, like the uh, intraoral scanners, um, because oh. I think <laughs> I think there's a market there that, that Vatech could, could kind of take over with that. But I know that's kind of kind of not what they do, and there's a lot of proprietary in, uh, technology with that. So, but hey, you never know, maybe you never know. That's exactly right. Who knows what's 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 coming out next? So, um, what's the best way for someone to get a hold of uh, the Vatech America company if they said, you know what, I, I'm in the market. I, I'm looking for something. I'm thinking about 3D. Um, is, is it to go to one, like a local trade show? Is it to uh, go to Vatech America and 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 reach out there, or is, is it best to go to one of these maybe distributors or partners direct and, and ask about it? You know, you know, what's what's the best way you think uh, interested parties should should reach out to to Vatech? Uh, I mean, there are any number of ways we can reach out to us. You can the uh, the customer can reach out to us through uh, vatechamerica.com, the website, and request for info or a demo. Or conversely, if you work with any of the 30 plus dealers that we have nationwide, you can work with them directly as well. Okay, great. Yeah, so it's, it doesn't have to be specifically through Vatech America. You can just move forward through the dealer. Uh, yes, and, and, and they've got all the information that way, huh? Right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, so um, when when looking at 3D, um, you know, I think obviously all the dentistry is headed that way. And I think anyone who's looking at implantology, especially, you know, needs to have that 3D uh, implementation in their processes. And, um, you know, I can say from personal experience, you know, I, I love Vatex product and, uh, and I've been more than pleased with the, with the product support that I've got. And so, um, that's what. That's why I reached out to you guys and said, "Hey, let's let's put something together and, and just get some information out there." Um, so I'm I'm excited about what you guys are doing, and um, you know, definitely look forward to to things that come in the future. Yeah, uh, Dr. Gordon, thank you for having me. Yeah. So, uh, Ted, I, I appreciate your time today. It's been great chatting with you, and um, maybe we'll circle up again sometime and and do a follow up if uh, if there's some things that come out that that we feel we should uh, update on. Okay. Yeah, definitely. 
All right. Well, thank you for your time today. You have a good afternoon. You too. Thank you for your time.